we are jumping right back in then today, viewers, with two games against Blackburn and Burnley. We are still looking for another win. The board is still not happy with us. We're still in that month period, so there's a lot to play for. The starting 11 against Blackburn is Waters in goal, a back for Sanchez, Robin, Marshall and Mitchell. Toll and Leandro in the middle, Mizuchi on the left, Mayhead on the right and Sabroso and Martins leading that line for us. Joe Martins hasn't had the best start here. We're looking for him to make a difference for us today. Sabroso has been really quiet as well. Only five goals to his name so far this season. Kickoff is here then at Roots Hall. We'll drop some early encouragement on the boys. We have had another team meeting and that seems to have lifted, lifted spirits. The next three games are the crucial one. That is the end of the month that the board gave us to improve. And if anything, we're not improved at all. We lost the first two games back to back in yesterday's episode as Blackburn looked to break forward here. Blackburn are the easiest game we've got. The one on one. Lewis. <laughs> I just thought he was going to lift it over the goalkeeper there. Thankfully, he didn't one-on-one. -on -one. He's tried to chip him from a long way, but we're still 10 points off safety at the moment. Blackburn are in 20th. They're the one of the teams that we are chasing down, if we can even get close to them. But my word, are we in trouble at the moment? Sanchez, with the throw-in, gives it straight to a Blackburn player. It's volleyed up, and thankfully, Robin is equal to it. Heads it away. Travis, with a long ball over the top. Adams is in here. Adams makes it 1-0. No, no, no. Oh, Will Adams, it's come from our own attacking throwing. Again, Robin dealt with it, and then another long ball, one touch, long ball over the top. We're not back in between the two central defenders, and Adam is in. And Adams makes it 1-0 Blackburn. I think the writing is on the wall. I really think the writing is on the wall. If this is two, we're going to struggle to get back. Oh, it's Waters saves it. And turns it over the bar, but I really think that we are going to struggle here to turn this around. We're going to demand some more of these boys. I just think the board are not going to look fondly upon this. The last time we had a look at the approval rating, we were a D. We'll have a look at that after this game, but we need to get through the second half at first. We're going to point the fist, tell the boys to show us something else in the second half, and just send them back out there. Another really poor first half. We've only had two shots, none on target at all. And in fact, we're going to berate the players. It's not something we do often. And just try and breathe a bit of life into them. But my word, have we been poor. No highlight again. 60th minutes come to Blackburn. Salmon in to Monk McKay. Finds Sabrosa though from the deflected ball. Into Martins. What will he do? Gives it back to Leandro. Toll into Mizuchi. Unleashes. Oh, you're gone straight into Gunn's hands. And he just clutches onto it just before the hour mark. Tries to launch it down. Mitchell is equal to it. Sabroso now into Leandro. Come on. Into Toll. Marshall. Bring it forward. Finds Mitchell on this right hand side. Finds Mayhead now. It was broke away. Can he get a ball in? Back to Toll. Sabroso. Oh, and it's defended. Oh. How on earth can Sabroso not put the ball in the back of the net? He was so clinical last season. We are going to have to make a change. At least we have one shot on target. <laughs> Small victory. Martins again. Not said his name. Palumbo will come on. We'll bring Pantic on. For Mayhead, and we'll just do a double sub. But the the team aren't playing too bad. It looked we looked okay there. It's not the best, but we really really need to improve. Mitchell finds Tall Pantic. We just need to get some shots on the goal. Tall with a goal though. What a goal that is! His first goal of the season. And with 22 minutes of this game remaining, we have found a way back in with a powerful finish into the top corner. Of the Blackburn net. Pantic, lovely setup from him. I mean, he's lucky, actually. We're very lucky. But Toll is there, equal, ready for the ball, and just smashes it home with his right foot for his first goal in South End Colours. Uh, free kick. No, not free kick. Goal kick for Blackburn. McKay, what will he do? Finds Gibbons on his right hand side. Can we defend this? Sanchez, what will he do? Try to see him out. Oh, what a save that is by Waters. What a great save that is that he's just turned around. Blackburn corner, Lewis, he will look to get this in. Can we defend this? He gets it in. It's gone over. Oh, we've given away a penalty. Why are we the way we are? Blackburn step up to take it. L Lou, Lou steps up. Oh, he's gone down the middle. <sighs> Lazarus, Lou, Lou. We shot ourselves in the foot once again. We were looking fine once we'd scored. Are you thinking, just hold on, boys. Hold on, get the point. And this is disastrous at the bottom of the table. This would now leave us 10 points off Cambridge and would move Blackburn up to 17. But, I mean, this bottom three, us, Barnsley and Peterborough, all getting cut adrift so, so early on. 
and you've got to think the board may pull the trigger very, very soon if we can't improve. I just don't understand what is going wrong with this team. It's not too dissimilar from last season, and we, we, we lost in the playoff final last season. But the thing is, if we'd have gone up, what would we have done in the Premier League as Blackburn? Rattle the crossbar, and it's now 3-1. Why, just why are we like this? Genuinely, if we had gone up to the Premier League, we wouldn't have won a game all season. I firmly believe that we would not have won a game. Look at this. Adams, it's come back off. He hits it into Lewis. It comes, and then he gets it again. It's hit the crossbar, and then Lewis is there to finish it. 3-1. Oh, my word. Just, he's onside. Lewis gives it back to Adams. It's come off our defender, sorry. He finds its way back to Adams, who hits the crossbar, and then Lewis puts it home. Why are we the way we are? And there we are. A 3-1 loss. Hands on the hips, I'm not happy. We've got to try and use a different tactic. They're obviously not listening to me shouting. They're not listening to me motivate. Let's try just being chilled out. They've got nothing to lose. We've literally got... Well, I suppose we've got a job to lose, but... Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Burnley, who we play next then, are currently in sixth in the table. It doesn't get any easier. It just does not get any easier. So the board are currently giving us a D at the moment. Disappointed with the mid-table. We failed the Carabao Cup. On course to work within the wage budget. Sell players for a profit's work in our favour. These things are, but the actual... I mean, next season, we're meant to finish in the top half of the season. If we finish, I mean, we won't even be in the league at this rate, but... Oh, my word. We'll go play the Burnley game. Here we are then, the starting 11 for the Burnley game. What is in goal? A back four of Sanchez, Robin, Marshall and Grant. Pantic and Leandro in the middle. Mizuchi on the left, Merhead on the right and Sabroso and Martin. Do you know what? I'm going to drop Martins. We'll put, start with Palumbo up top. So Palumbo comes in up top. We need to just try anything today. Anything to try and get a point. But Burnley are in six. And that really, really does make things so much harder for us. Vincent Company is the Burnley manager. Dean Henderson is there. Anybody else that I recognise? Don't recognise anybody else that's there. Tom, no, not that's not what I'm thinking it is. What do we do here? Hands in the pockets. Media have been on your back for ages. Just, just tell them. And do you know what? We're going to say we expect a performance out there because we do. We need a performance off the boys. And kickoff is underway here at a turf more. And we, we'll, we're just looking to see how we get on. This could be the penultimate game in charge. The board was still on a D with them at the club, with the club monthly review meeting. They're, they're, they're still provide, providing us with a D. But like I said, we've, we were meant to have a month and things should improve. Things haven't improved. Things are exactly the same. When that month runs out, I think might be in the game against Bristol City. But my word, if that doesn't happen, then the boards are certainly, certainly going to be hovering over that trigger button at the moment. Our job status on the job screen when you look at all the different clubs is insecure not very insecure we're just insecure at the moment as Pantic wins the ball back in the middle Sabrosa feeds it through to Palumbo and Palumbo there he goes he's got his chance and Alberto Palumbo finds the back of the net what a bit of play that was Sabrosa feeds it through to Palumbo and he gets his third goal of the season is that the little bit of magic that we needed just to turn things around here lovely ball in Palumbo makes a nuisance of himself with that run and makes it 1-0 after just 18 minutes. I'm hoping that we haven't scored too early and that doesn't fire Burnley up. And we can just go on and win the game. It would still put, it would still put us 9 points off safety. Who is Middlesbrough occupying that last place at the moment. But fingers crossed we can go on and add to this lead. Marshall with a long ball down. Fine. Looking for Sabroso. It's headed back. Picked up by Leandro Mizzucci. Into the goal scorer Palumbo. What will he do? Gives it back to Sanchez in a weird bit of play, but the triangle finds his way back to Sanchez now. Looking to go to that byline. He back heals it. We've not seen anything like that. Into the under, back to Sanchez, who's been a, oh, he'd been a key component in that move, and he just fires the ball across the face of goal, and we have lost the ball, but we've won it back in the middle again. We restart in here. Robin into Sanchez. What will he do? Looks to find Palumbo. Palumbo! Oh, he should have buried it. He's took one too many touches. If it had hit it first time, I think that would have found its way into the back of the net. Here he is with the resulting corner. It's headed away and he picks it back up. Barnsley are winning as well. That is not good for us at the bottom of the table. And Peterborough, we're winning. They're now drawing. So this would see us go still remain in 23rd. I don't know if that table has updated or not, though. Henderson with the goal kick. Five minutes before our time. This is not a familiar position we find ourselves in. Winning 
And just before half time, Azuch. Palumbo! There he is. He's got a brace. Alberto Palumbo. And ooh, ooh, this was unexpected, I think, viewers. Burnley are in sixth. Burnley are in sixth. And we are now 2 0 up. Five minutes before half time. Good bit of play by Mazouch. And Palumbo is there to put the ball past the goalkeeper. That was easy. That was harder than his goal. Well, his, his chance earlier, he was one on one, but this would put us on seven points at the moment. And again, we'll put us nine from safety. This is big half time team talk coming up. I'm not going to be harsh on the boys. I'm going to stretch the arms and say we're happy with things and keep it up. I don't want to say to him, do better. I don't want to say you're doing poor because you're not. They're doing really, really well. I just want to try and take some pressure off them. Just praise them for what they're doing. This is an unfamiliar territory we're in here. Mizuchi comes forward on this left hand side. He's upended. Oh, we've got a penalty here. This, If we could score this, this would be really unexpected. Palumbo steps up for his hat-trick. Oh, my word. Alberto Palumbo comes into the starting eleven and gets a hat-trick. Unbelievable. What a game he has had. This is his best game in a South End shirt. And we are 3-0 up against Burnley here. And my word, that is a big, big goal for us in this relegation fight at the moment. Willock with the corner from Barnsley. And it's headed away. We're going to drop some praise on the boys, actually, from the sideline. And hopefully, we, if we could keep a clean sheet, that would be brilliant here. And would really spare confidence on. Sanchez picks up the loose ball. Duff, what will he do for Burnley? We've not seen Burnley out really have an attacking highlight. Henderson picks it up. Kicks it out to his right-hand side. It's flicked on by Atkinson. Sanchez volleys it down. And Henderson will come out and collect this. Gives it straight back to his midfield. Duff into Willock now. Finds Gardner Bownwell. Somebody that I was looking at signing, but unfortunately his wages were way too much for us and we couldn't bring him into the club and he went to Burnley instead. He's probably thinking, I'm quite glad I made that move at the moment. Willock with the corner, a free kick and it's, he tries to whip the ball in and Waters is equal to it and plucks it out of the air. And coming up just before the hour mark, we are now 3-0 up. Palumbo loses it in the middle though. Gardner Brownwell comes forward here. Can we keep a clean sheet? Oh, he fires over. And thankfully it remains... 3-0 here, I mean, it's typical, the, the pre, the Peter to Peterborough winning, corner, as we are winning, and Barnsley are picking up a point as well, it's absolutely typical, Mizuchi on this left-hand side, tries to find a way in, Merhead, oh, he almost makes it four, and he rattles the crossbar, he rattles that crossbar, Pedro coming forward for Burnley, what can we do here, let's see if we can defend this ball, Gardner Brownwell finds Atkinson, and that is the end of the highlight. Barnsley, are they winning? We can't get through to the scores. As Burnley have a deep free kick, it's headed away. Come on, boys. Let's do. Let's just keep a clean sheet here. We need to make a change because I think there's some tired. Do, do we need to make a change? Gardner Brownwell, oh my way, he rattles the back crossbar. Oh, and that ball so, somehow stays out of the back of the net. I cannot believe this performance we've put in. Burnley have been the better team this second half. Really, really have been the better team in the second half, but we are not complaining. Marshall, I don't want to change anything because we're it's a winning side. I think the legs are looking okay. There's no one really that tired here. So for me, why why change it? Why change it? Page Willock. Oh my word, what a save by Waters that is. What a save. Palumbo with a 9.1. Mehad's not having a good game. He's having the worst game on the team, so we will bring him off. We'll bring we'll bring Toll on the goal scorer last game. Can he find the back of the net to make it 4-0 here with 15 minutes remaining of this game? Burnley with another high. It's been all Burnley in the second half. We've only had six shots on target. We've put three of them in. Oh, Burnley with a free kick in a dangerous area, though. Hopefully, we can keep this out. If it goes in, it will give them confidence. Willock, oh, he tries something cheeky. And thankfully, it goes on the other side of the post. Waters now with a good goal kick into Leandra. Finds Grant, who looking to bring it forward. His stature his towering stature, looking to just stride forward, does into Pantic Sabroso, back to Grant. Oh my word, he's tried to back heel tall, finds Mazouk. Oh, and it's Henderson held on to the ball. I thought that was going to be such a good goal there. Tall though, with a lovely ball in, and that's showing a good sign that he's settling into the team. Pantic into Sabroso, what will he do? Finds Pantic, come on boys, Leandro into Tall. Palumbo looking to switch it in, does finds Grant on this right hand side. Tall now, back to Grant. Come on, get the ball in. He's had a go. Oh, and Henderson tips it onto the underside of his bar and it stays out and somehow again didn't go over the line with 10 minutes of this game remaining. Burnley have had more shots than us. Less shots on target though, but in very similar possession. And we are 3-0 winners here at the moment. Three minutes of injury time to go. And a clean sheet, viewers. A clean sheet. And there it is. 
there's the clean sheet and we have absolutely blown Burnley away and tell the boys we are very proud of their performance and that is a big victory for us don't know if it's still going to be enough to satisfy the board we'll have to find out but what a bit what a three points to pick up that is Peterborough unfortunately win 3-2 so they're still three points clear of us we are now eight points off Cambridge who has occupied the one place above the relegation zone and Barnsley draw one all as well so they do pick up a point but it's still looking very very precarious down at the bottom for us and Bristol City are next and they're top which we will play tomorrow as I just said then viewers we will leave it there for today and we are playing top of the table Bristol City tomorrow if you have enjoyed that video viewers please don't forget to smash that like button for me share the video around and subscribe to the channel for more content Thank you very, very much for watching, and I'll see you again for more next time. We've just had this message, viewers. The board are happy with that overall confidence. We've improved somehow. That we, I don't know. I genuinely don't know. But we're going to change things a little bit. We aren't going to meet up for Bristol City anymore. We'll go a little bit further into the season, and I think we'll come back for the Cambridge game in Boxing Day. We'll do the Boxing Day game against Cambridge. If anything changes as per usual, we will meet up before, but we'll go for the Cambridge game at the moment. So I will see you for that game tomorrow. So after, I'm back again, viewers. So after the message that we've just seen, wait, we're doing fine. We've just lost to Bristol City and this has come back up. The board want another meeting. Let's go. <sighs> Jesus, let's just go over and attend. I'm going to say we've had a difficult run of games recently. We feel the fixtures weren't hard and you should have done better. Tell me what I need to save my job. 10 points from the next five games. Who are the next five games? Bristol Rovers, Barnsley, Sheffield Wednesday, Watford, Birmingham. I mean, it could be over very quickly. Could even be over after two games. Could we get it lower? We'll say, see if we can get it lower. Eight. We need eight points from the next five games. So we'll be back tomorrow. We'll, we'll do it with a double header. We'll come back for Bristol City and Barnsley. Probably the easiest games that we've got coming up. My word, we don't make things easy for ourselves, do we? So we'll be back tomorrow for a double header.